Hey there everybody, it's Ken, hope you're doing well. So I was on my iPhone scrolling through the app store and my modus operandi was looking for VPN apps. Nothing in particular, just, you know, kind of see what's out there, keep myself up on what's new and what's popped up. And when it was all said and done, I totaled 65 VPN apps on my iPhone. And unfortunately, most of them were slow, they leaked my location, jammed up my phone. Now the iOS itself provides a very sophisticated built-in security feature that protects your identity, your data, your location, all that good stuff, but it lacks the basic features of a VPN, like masking your IP address to bypass those geo restrictions or geo blocks that I've talked about many times. So pairing your iOS with a quality premium VPN is like creating a dynamic duo that will provide unbreakable protection for your device. Dun -dun 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 -dun. So when it comes to choosing that VPN for your iPhone or iPad, the basics are not just going to cut it when it comes to the features. And during the test that I did, I found three services that have a lot of additional features to protect your iPhone or iPad for whatever you may want to do. And I will include links to descriptions of all of these as well as any coupon codes or discounts that I might have you won't be able to find on their website because I always want to try and save you cash. And as always, you can be assured that I have handpicked each one of these like an apple from an orchard to make sure that it's usable, that the performance is top notch, the security features are really great. Every one of them is safe, fast and anonymous. And I'll run through the criteria for how I determine these three in a moment. So bear with me. Thanks for your patience. No worries, of course, about their functionality. They're all high performance VPNs. They work seamlessly with whatever version of the iOS you're using. They will unblock all the popular streaming services like Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime. And they also offer built in ad and malware protection, which is really important too. So now on to the good stuff. How did I choose these three services and what should you look for? Each one of these VPNs met my strict criteria for safety, speed, and usability. So all of them feature these particular things that I found to be the most useful for you. So with that in mind, the first thing was they're all, as I mentioned before, high performance apps for iPad and iPhone. They're compatible with multiple iOS devices and generations. So whatever you may be running, it will be able to accommodate. It supports Apple Pay, so you can make sure that your payments for games, apps, whatever it is that you're looking for is taken care of. It has 3D touch support, and they offer apps for other Apple platforms like Mac OS and Apple Watch. In addition to the iOS compatibility, I tested each one of them to make sure it performed well in the following categories. In addition to iOS compatibility, I wanted to make sure that every VPN on my list has powerful security, and that means military-grade encryption and strict no-log policies. I also wanted to make sure that they were fast. One of the most important things when choosing a premium VPN is making sure that they're fast, especially when you're on the go with your iPhone or iPad, which everybody is doing. Now, I did wanted to mention that it is normal for your connection to slow down a little bit when you connect to a VPN. Your data is going to travel a lot farther to reach the VPN server, and it does take some time to encrypt and decrypt the information that you're sending back and forth. However, if you're using one of the premium VPNs I'm about to recommend, that should be barely noticeable. And all of the VPNs that are on this list meet the speed requirements to torrent and stream in high definition in 4K, so no worries there. As you know, I love to read your comments and answer your questions to the best of my ability, so I'm going to take a little bit of time right now to go over some very generalized questions that some people have had to give you a little bit of insight into why why it is important for you to have a VPN to go along with your iOS, and here they are. So the first question you're asking is, of course, do I even need a VPN to protect my iPhone? And the answer is yes. The iOS has some tough built-in features that protect your identity, as I mentioned before, but you gotta create that dynamic duo pair it with a quality premium VPN, and then your device becomes impenetrable. The VPN is going to encrypt all of your data, make sure that your information is protected from cyber thieves. Without a VPN on your IS, all of your data is completely and totally exposed as you navigate these waters. Also, a VPN is the easiest way to protect yourself against DDoS attacks, doxing, internet surveillance. Protect yourself, protect your identity, protect your data, and a VPN is a great way to do that. You may be considering using a free VPN, and I gotta say, they are rarely safe to use. Remember, if a business isn't making money from its product, they got to figure out a way to make revenue anyway. So they generate that revenue by selling your data to third parties, even if they've promised top-notch security. And a few of them have been found to install malware and trackers on your device, which is the opposite of why you're using the VPN in the first place. Free VPNs heavily restrict your speed and data, and you know they might be a good option if you only need it for a few days, but you won't be able to torrent or stream. So what's the point of even doing it in the first place? Every single one of the premium VPN providers that I'm about to talk about offer free trials and money back guarantees of varying degrees. So there's no reason to limit yourself with a free VPN when you can try out the best for free. When it comes to VPNs and their legality, in about 95.9% .9 of the world,
the world they are. The main exceptions are Iraq, Iran, Belarus, Turkey, Oman, and the UAE. In these countries, VPNs are heavily restricted. It's legal to use them in China, but many VPN services are blocked and they don't work. If you're a tourist in one of these countries, don't worry, I have not heard of any issues with international tourists using VPNs in these countries. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've been waiting for, coming in at number one, we've got ExpressVPN. Of course, I cannot extol their praises anymore. They're the fastest, they're the best at unblocking geo restrictions, best for torrenting. I'm gonna keep using the word best as relates to them. They're very easy to use, and especially if you've never used a VPN before. Coming in at number two would be CyberGhost. And this one is similar to ExpressVPN, but it's a more budget-friendly option. So it'll do the same things as ExpressVPN, but not as fast. So if you don't mind trading some speed, performance, and features for cost savings, CyberGhost would be the way to go. And our third top choice would be Surfshark. This would be another budget-friendly pick, and it's very similar to Express the same way CyberGhost was, but it's also not quite as fast, and it doesn't have as many server options. However, one huge advantage is that it offers unlimited device connections, so you can use Surfshark simultaneously on as many devices as you can possibly imagine in your household if you've got a lot of people there, a lot of devices that you use, whatever it is, it'll be able to accommodate all of them. And they're also currently offering the best discount right now, making them an exceptional value. So check out all of these in the descriptions, as of course I have coupon codes for them, discounts for you so you can save money, things beyond what's available on the website because I always have your back. And remember, each one of them have been tested. They are safe, fast, and secure, and they will make sure that for your iPhone or your iPad, you are surfing, streaming, searching everything safely, quickly, and securely. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching. As always, I'm looking out for your comments and your questions. I will answer them to the best of my ability. I love it. Give the old thumbs up to the video if you can, because validation is awesome and you know I love it. Everybody stay safe out there and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.